Uh, welcome back to 15th Street Automotive. Uh, today's vehicle is a 2011 uh, Dodge 2500 with the Cummins. Helping me today is uh, one of my technicians. This is John Mox. Say hi, John. Hi. Mox. Uh, customer's concern is a check engine light uh, and the uh, transmission doesn't shift until about 2500 RPMs. So we're going to hook up the scan tool on this one and then uh, get into it. All right, got the scan tool hooked up to it. Uh, These are the codes that are stored. Uh, we've got a P1749 transmission throttle valve position sensor circuit low. And then a P1754 transmission throttle valve actuator stuck. So that tells me we got something wrong with that uh, transmission throttle valve. Let's uh, put the vehicle up and take a look at it. Okay, underneath the vehicle, looking at the side of the transmission here, you can see this component here, right up in here. That is the throttle valve actuator. Uh, basically takes the place of the old throttle valve cable. Uh, they do it electronically now on Chrysler tools because, you know, the cable, that was, uh, that was too dependable. So figured an electric motor would be much better. So we're going to get the schematic out, take a look at that, and then we'll... Uh, We'll dive into that thing, make sure we have powers and grounds on there like we're supposed to. Okay, this is the uh, wiring schematic for the uh, transmission circuits. Uh, if you look here, this is the, uh, the throttle valve actuator. Uh, we've got uh, dark blue, uh, dark green is sensor ground, uh, yellow pink is the 5 volt reference, and the orange circuit is the sensor return to the computer. Uh, the other two wires are the actual actuator controlled by the uh, computer. So we want to make sure we have powers and grounds on those when the key turns on. Let's get underneath there and take a look at the uh, circuits. All right, so we're looking at the uh, actuator from the back right here. Here's the actuator right here. Uh, the connector is stuck un up underneath here. It's almost impossible to get to to even test our voltages. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to pull that actuator off to give us better access to that connector and then we'll check our uh, powers and grounds and uh, and signal return uh, from that point uh, so let's uh, let's get that actuator off and we'll go from there All right, so I got the key on, engine off. I'm gonna put my negative probe into the blue circuit here, back probing it, and my positive per circuit into the five volt reference. And I've got my 5 volt reference, so that basically tests my 5 volt reference to the sensor and the sensor ground. So that tells me everything I need to know. I got 4.98 volts into that. So now I can pull this positive out of here, and I want to stick that into the pink circuit, which is the or orange circuit, which is the signal return. If we plug the TVA back in. So we're at four volts just in the in the neutral position it's in right now. Now if I turn this shaft right here
I should get a gradual change on that sensor and I'm not getting any change at all it's stuck at 4 volts just minor changes that should range from about 7 tenths of a volt up to 4 volts and it's stuck at 4 volts alright so we got the component back plugged back in uh, with our with our multimeter leads plugged in to the uh, signal circuit so now just sitting here that thing should be at 3.7 volts uh, and as you can see it's closer to 0 0.37 uh, should be 3.7 so now Mox is gonna step on the accelerator that shaft turns like it's supposed to but it should go up to uh, it should go down to 0 0.7 volts and it goes down to 0 0.05 so hopefully you can see that without glare on the screen Okay, Mox, let off the accelerator. So that's at rest. And now step on the accelerator. And that's with the uh, throttle uh, on the ground, on the floor. So that tells me that that uh, throttle valve actuator is dead. We're going to replace that.